Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the Mark Parham Podcast. Um, you know, I've been looking at a lot of, uh, you know, just videos when it comes to uh, politics and, you know, things about Ronald Reagan and, you know, looking at Gavin Newsom and, you know, just a bunch of different things. And the amazing thing was uh, Cali- how California actually, you know, supported uh, Republicans back in the days. Like, it's amazing to me to think that you know, folks in California supported people like Ronald Reagan and Nixon and people like that. When you fast forward and, you know, right now, 2024, it looks like, uh, you know, Democrats have a stronghold in California. I mean, no matter, you know, all the corruption and what the Democrats do and the homeless situation that, you know, folks in California will not vote for a Republican, this governor, it almost seems that way. And, uh, You know, it's sad that it's like that. I think uh, putting in some new leadership and trying to put in some Republicans in power, maybe a governor or, uh, you know, mayor of Los Angeles, something like that would actually help, you know, certain cities and towns and things like that. But, you know, the Democrats in California have such a stronghold and uh, I don't know why, but it's almost like, uh, you know, they'll complain about a situation, but they'll still, you know, vote for a Democrat. I mean, in my opinion... Gavin Newsom has destroyed California. If you look at the crime that's going on, if you look at just the policies, the taxes, the just, <clears throat> you know, everything. I don't see how anybody who has a functioning brain could support another uh, Democrat governor. But some tells me, you know, even after someone like uh, Gavin Newsom, they'll line up to support a, a, a bunch of Democrats again. It's almost like uh it will take, I don't know, I don't know what it'll take. It almost will take like Jesus Christ to come down and, you know, walk the streets of California or Sacramento, uh, not California, but walk the streets of L.A. or Sacramento to, for people to wake up. I don't know. But uh, for some reason, the Democrats have such a stronghold in California. And it's very sad, in my opinion. I think that getting a Republican in a place like San Francisco as the mayor, or even you look at Los Angeles. Could you imagine if Los Angeles had a Republican, you know, mayor? I think that the city would look completely different. I think crime would be much lower. Uh, you wouldn't have all these crazy inc- incidents happening. But, you know, folks in California just have this uh, love affair with, you know, anything that's a Democrat. And they'll they'll go on television, they'll complain about, oh my God, the taxes and so bad and things are just changing and getting out of hand, but they'll go into that voting booth and it's just something with them and Democrats. I don't know what it is in California. It's very sad. It's almost like you see those zombie movies. It's almost like you have a bunch of just zombies that no matter what the Democrats do, no matter what they say, people will support the Democrats. You look at even uh, Oakland, the city of Oakland. I mean, that mayor there, I mean, look at how she's running that city into the ground. I mean, you have businesses that are huge businesses that are leaving because they're talking about safety. And, you know, it's bad when major businesses are leaving because, you know, that's going to affect the economy, the local economy, jobs. But I mean, again, people will see all that and still vote for Democrats. They'll, you know, see crime and theft and car break ins and carjackings and all this stuff. And then they'll march that voting booth and put on a happy face and vote for anything with a, a, a D next to their name. I've never seen anything like it. It's it's crazy. It's almost like some, you know, people, it's almost like a, a zombie movie, but that's just how it is. I think that if people change their mindset and say, you know what, maybe we should try a Republican this time in California as our governor, maybe of a mayor of a city like Los Angeles or San Francisco. Let's try that. Let's try to get a Republican in there and let's see what happens. I think a lot would change and I think people would be surprised and I think people would actually like the change. But, you know, for some reason, you can't get them to to switch. They're committed to the Democrats no matter what, no matter how high the taxes are, no matter how many car break ins there are. They're just going to you know stick with the, the Democrats, ride it all the way out. And so it's sad, but uh, I think California could be such a beautiful state. If they just get some new republic, new leadership and vote in some Republicans, just try it for one year, maybe four years and just see what happens. And if you don't like the changes, then you can always switch back to what you've always uh, voted for. But 
to uh, see Democrats just mess up California the way they're messing California up. It's it's very sad. And I look at California on TV, and to be honest with you, I mean, it's very beautiful. You've got beautiful beaches and coastline and all this other stuff and great cities, but I wouldn't want to, you know, visit California seeing, you know, all the car break-ins and crime that's happening on the streets in nice areas, by the way. So in the comment section, uh, just let me know how you feel and, you know, let me know why you think so many uh, people in California, you know, just are diehard uh, Democrats. Just let me know why you think so many uh, people in California vote for the Democrats no matter what. Thank you.